To configure the field status for business partners in SAP s we navigate to transaction code SPRO, click on subreference IMG, and then under cross application components, SAP business partner, business partner, basic settings, field groupings, you can see the different customizing options to define a field status for our business partner. We will talk about each of them right now. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So over here you can see configure field attributes per client. With this customizing activity, we can configure the field attributes for the business partner for the whole client. So on the highest organizational level, so to say. Let's click on this one. Now you can see a different activities. We select the first one always. And then you can see a different application objects. So for the business partner, the application object BUPA is relevant. Also, another application object can be relevant. I will click on new entries. It's called BUPR, business partner relationships. You can even save it over here. By the way, if you want to find out more about the business partner and also about the relationships, I will leave you a whole playlist of mine in the description of this video. Let's go back once. Now we double click on BUPA and over here you can see different data sets. Those data sets comprise different so-called field groups. And those field groups you will also see when creating a business partner. Let me give you an example. Let's scroll down. Up until you can see here central data. Double click on this one. And here you can see general data for our business partner. Now let's quickly navigate to the business partner transaction via slash OBP. Just click on organization. And over here you can see the search term one, two. Let's actually make this field now mandatory. Let's close this view over here. And here we are already in the right data set. We will just scroll down a bit up until we can see search term one. Now you can see over here, it's set to not specified. We will set it to a required entry now. So I will just click over here, then click on save. So far so good. Let's now navigate to the business partner transaction again, open an organization. And over here you can now see that the search term is mandatory, which is indicated by this asterisk over here. Okay, so far so good. Let's close, go back and back again. Next off, you can see configure field attributes per business partner role. So let's click on this one, click on the first one with a double click. And here you can see all the different business partner roles for which we could also configure the field status. So this means that per business partner role, we can say that we want a deviating field status, for instance, for our field search term one. However, as you can see, one business partner role is missing. It's the business partner role 000000, where also the search term information is stored. So I'll click on new entries, select the role like that, then double click on the role, navigate to central data. And also over here, I will find search term one. However, it's not specified. Now we could actually also set the field status over here. But as you remember, we already set the field status for the client. So meaning that if I set an entry over here, this entry could be in conflict to the entry we already set. As you remember, we set it to required entry. If we now say over here optional and save, and then go back to the business partner transaction, open a business partner, you can see the search term is still mandatory because on the client level, we set it to mandatory and on the business partner role level, we set it to optional and mandatory from the context of the SAP system is more important than optional. So meaning that mandatory wins and this field stays mandatory. You can also see that this could be kind of a conflict because let me close the window if we go back in here again. So we are still on the maintenance screen for business partner roles. Go to central data, go down until you see the search term. And if I now say hide, for instance, and save, this means now that from the client perspective, we made this field mandatory, but from the business partner role perspective, we are hiding the field. So let's see to which field status this brings us slash OBP organization. Now you can see the search term vanished. However, if we insert the data to save a business partner, so just some dummy information like that, and then we try to save, you can see the business partner was saved successful. So this means in this case, the hide button is more important than the required entry button and so on and so forth. I always advise you to set all the field status customizing in one place. For instance, only on client level or only on business partner role level, but not on both of them. So let's close. We navigate into this again. Let me just put it back. Search term back to not specified, save. Okay, let's go back and back again. Close this view. 
before we come to the configure field attributes per activity, let's actually set the field attributes per client back real quick. Double click, navigate into the business partner, central data, and over here, search term one, we will set to not specified. This is fine. Let's go back, back again. Now we come to the configure field attributes per activity. Click on this one, double click on the first one. Now you can see different activities. So meaning that we can configure the field status for instance, for the creation of a business partner, deviating to the change of an already existing business partner. So let's go to create first, double click, go to central data. Now we navigate down until we see our search term one. For instance, here for the creation, we will say it's a required entry. And for the change, we could say that it's an optional entry. Let's go down, search term one, we will say optional and save. Let's now see this in action. We go to slash OBP. Click on organization. Now we need to fill the information. We just put in some dummy data. You can see the search term is mandatory here upon the creation. However, if we now go into the change mode, you can see the search term is not mandatory anymore. It is optional. Let's close this view. Let's go back and back again. Last but not least, you can see configure field attributes per business partner type. So actually for this to work, we need to create a new business partner type first. So let's click on this one over here, define business partner types, click on new entries, Z123, new BP type and save. Now go back, back again. Now go to configure field attributes per business partner type, double click on the first one. And here you can see our new type, double click on this one. We navigate to our central data, scroll down. We will now take search term two and we will say that it should be hidden for this business partner type. Let's click on save, save again. Now let's navigate to the business partner transaction slash OBP. Click on organization, just insert some dummy data. You can see the search term two, which is this field over here is not hidden. However, if we now go to the control tab and then we select our business partner type Z123 that we just created and hit on enter, you can see business partner type was changed. Field selection will be adjusted. So meaning that now the field selection depends on the business partner type. Now go back to the address tab and you can see the search term two field vanished. Those are the four options to configure the field status for a business partner in SAP S4HANA. I hope you liked the video. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.